Well, hi there, it's Josh Colback here from Advanced Coupons and we're back with another knowledge based tutorial video and uh, today we're going to discuss how to restrict a coupon in WooCommerce to a specific user role. So that is guests or customers or if you have like a wholesale side to your business could be like wholesale roles or any other kind of user role that a user could have inside of your WordPress website. So let's just go ahead and we'll create a, a uh, coupon here. This is my, my advanced coupons demo site and I'm just going to create a generic coupon and you can see that once this loads you can see I've got the all the usual WooCommerce tabs here for coupons but I've also got all these extra ones and that's because I'm using a plugin called advanced coupons for WooCommerce. So you can find that advanced coupons plugin dot com and that will uh, will let you add all these great extra features. So today we're going to just call our coupon example and I'll give it a percentage discount of say 20%. And the part that we're gonna zoom in on here in this tutorial is the role restrictions tab. So when you have a coupon and you're using the advanced coupons plugin, you'll be able to restrict your coupon to specific user roles. So if we go in here, we click this enable user role uh, restrictions, which will enable that feature. And you can specify a list of user roles. And if you click in this, this field here, it will automatically drop down a, a little list of all the roles on your site. So if by default, WooCommerce um, basically has customer, shop manager, administrator, etc. So this would let you, so let, let's give it an example. All right, let's say we, we have a, a welcome coupon and that gives you a 20% discount and it's only for new customers. So people that, have, uh, that are checking out as a user, we don't want those people to be able to use it because they've probably already claimed it uh, for one and uh, they're not brand new customers. So let's, uh, let's look at this allowed user roles. We'll click on guests and you can then see that only guests will be allowed to use this coupon. So me, I'm logged in as an administrator and that also means that even me as the administrator can't use this coupon because I'm not on that allowed users list. Now what happens when uh, somebody that comes along and they're logged in as a customer uh, and they aren't allowed to use the coupon? So that's where this invalid role error message comes in. You can put whatever text you like in here. It will show up as a WooCommerce notice when they go to add the coupon on their cart or checkout. So invalid role error message. I'm sorry, you aren't allowed to use this coupon. It's for new users only. Okay, so now let's hit publish. And to test this out, I'm going to do two things. So first thing will be to create a new user. Oh, I'll just wait for this page to refresh here. Okay, I'm going to create a new a new customer, somebody that has already purchased something. And to, to just to simulate that, I'm just going to manually create the user um, so that we know that they are logged in and they aren't a uh, a guest. So um, let's call this person some customer and their email is some customer at example.com test test and we'll just make the password some customer. Okay and we'll make them a customer user role so that's the important bit there. Add this user Okay, so now you can see we have two users here. I've got my administrator account, I've got my user, my, uh, my test customer there. I'm going to open up a new private browsing window here, which will give me a fresh session to test with. And I'll log in as that customer. So if I go to the My Account part on my demo site here, and I log in some customer, it's the same for the password. And when that refreshes, okay, hello test test. So now we're, we're logged in as, a, as an actual customer. I'm going to go and do a bit of shopping. So where, what can we buy? Let's, let's have a look. Let's get a beanie with a logo and let's grab a belt as well and a hoodie. All right, 
let's give a good example here. Okay, those things are now added to the cart. You can see they're, they're in my, my cart here. I'll go to the cart page, which will show me the coupon code field. And I'm gonna try and add that coupon, which is currently restricted to guests only. So um, the coupon code was example. Let's try and apply that coupon. I'm sorry, you aren't allowed to use this coupon. It's for new users only. So if we have a look at that message and we go back here into our coupons area. So let's look at the coupon that we had created. It's the example coupon. And the role restrictions. So we can see that we restricting to guest and this is the the message that we were showing and then you can see that is the message that's shown on the front end so but if I was to log out from here and try to use the same coupon again and so now I'm logged in as a guest I'm back at the the shopping page let's add a couple of things to the cart and we'll go and view the cart and now that I'm not logged in as a customer, I should be able to use this coupon. And there we go. So the coupon code was applied successfully and you can see the discount was applied. So there's my 20% discount. So that's, that's how the, uh, the role restrictions works in advanced coupons plugin for WordPress, uh, for WooCommerce rather. And uh, if you want to get this plugin, just go to advancedcouponsplugin.com.